So over the past few years, the top players of Fortnite have never stopped evolving, and that means their playstyles have changed drastically. I mean, skills such as pace control and fast editing, and even just using cones to box your opponents have become essential. And this season, man, they're gonna help you guys even more than ever. But your crunch time, I'm here today because we're gonna be covering some of the top tips for you guys to improve your close quarter skills in Fortnite Season 6. Are you ready to become a box fighting master in Fortnite's brand new arena box fighting mode? You guys ready for this video? I know I am. Let's Let's get this going. So if you follow all these tips, but you still can't quite rise up through the ranks of the box fight arena, then you should head on over to ProGuys.com because our fantastic team of coaches will play with you guys in game and, you know, just really teach you exactly how to improve in the game super fast. Guys, try it out. Trust me. All right, so the first tip that we have for all of you guys today, and to be honest, obviously it's a pretty, you know, cliche tip, but it's just also something that is so overlooked. And to this day, I mean, it's just one of the most important factors contributing to your success in your close quarter combat. All right, so having amazing aim, aim, aim. I'm gonna say it again, aim, that's right. Yo, it's just one of those things which separates the good players from the GOAT Fortnite pros. Like you must train your close quarters aim as frequently and consistently as you can. And so there are many creative maps out there that are designed to keep your aim up to date and sharp. Raider 464's aim dual map is one of the best maps to improve your close quarter aim skills because instead of just fighting random bots that don't shoot back, you practice your aim against a real player in a one by one box fight who has realistic movement and is actually trying to dodge your shots and alternatively like you can play the maps like shrides aim training map or you know skavox aim training map but so the advantage to playing these instead is that you know you could do these for 20 minutes as a pre-warm-up to your arena and competitive games without needing another player to fight against but you know it's just nowhere near as realistic as the aim dual map so another tip for the Bunch of Crunch army is to try to predict your enemy's edits so that you can just shoot them through builds. All right, so recently, you know, a lot of pros such as FaZe Martaz and, you know, they've been using like this technique to really pick off some easy damage from their opponents without, you know, them expecting it or even just being able to block it. So to practice this technique, all you really gotta do is just look out for when your enemy pulls out the editing blueprints and also just having a good sense of when they might edit on you, right? So try to follow your intuition. So another thing that you might want to implement is simply spraying your AR or submachine gun the second your opponent attempts to edit. A lot of people nowadays just simply just, you know, can't stand being spammed with an AR or SMG. And so this might just overwhelm them and make them collapse under the pressure. And so it can definitely be an easy elimination. All right, bunch of crunch time the question of the day. All right, it's pretty rare that Epic makes major changes to how arena mode works. And now we've got a whole new ranked ladder in the form of the box fighting arena. So I gotta ask you this, are you guys enjoying the new mode or do you think it should be made better? Let us know in the comments below because we do definitely read every single one. All right, so box fights have been popular ever since Creative was really first introduced to the game back in 2018, and it's really clear to see why. Box fighting trains the most essential game mechanics that you need to be good at the game. Things like peace control and editing and aim, I mean, all so, so important. And you know, as a bonus, you may know that Epic has released the new arena box fight mode, which means this isn't just going to be practice for your close quarters combat, since these fights will now contribute to your high points. And so this action-packed game mode will allow you to become comfortable in a compact environment and really make you get used to being in situations where you feel hopeless solely just having to rely on aim and movement. And so by mastering your box fights, you should not feel panicked when you get peace controlled by your enemy and be able to just find a way to just pressure your opponent back even when you have builds surrounding you. And so all in all, guys, like creative and arena box fights will definitely be useful in sharpening your close quarter skills no matter what. And so we 100% recommend playing at at least a few games a day as part of your daily training and playing schedule and it's definitely going to help you improve really fast. All right, so a different tip that we got for you today is to utilize ramps during those previously mentioned close range box fights. So over time, players have become more and more rapid at pressuring players in boxes and taking their walls. So having a few tricks up your sleeve to counter these new moves is always handy. So an easy and simple trick to get away from your opponents and avoiding taking damage is to place a ramp while looking downwards so that the ramp just goes above you while also covering your back from enemies line of sight. 
And so when trained, this trick can be done extra fast, man, and really used in multiple scenarios. You know, reboxing and avoiding enemy peace control is the main reason, but it can even be used for rotates and can be just even more of a material efficient method for tarping. And so you could do this by either placing floors and ramps the same way uh, said before, but you know, while keeping your momentum and running at the same time. And for tarping, you place floors and a wall to your right, and then a ramp placed sideways so that it covers your left side as well as the view from above. And so let me ask you this, like, do you ever find yourself in scenarios where you're on super low health trying to heal up? Oh God, I was just there the other day. But your opponent just keeps W king your boxers and pressuring you until you just end up losing a wall or just getting boxed in like a fish. Like a simple strategy to avoid this dreaded death. <laughs> it's super simple, but it's also extremely effective. Never rebox to the side. So reboxing, guys, is the idea that involves moving from a box that you're already in and creating a new one next to your original box. So it's sort of like tarping, um, but you aren't like constantly moving in one direction and trying to rotate. You're just simply just trying to get away from your enemy. And so the reason you never ever want to rebox to the side is that it means your opponents can easily predict your movement and really just take your wall. Or like no really, claim the entire box that you're about to walk into before you even think about it. So picture it from your enemy's point of view, all right? It's just a lot harder practically, you know, impossible to just really get a wall in if you go directly to the other direction they're located. And so by the way, like you can easily combine the last trick that we told you about using ramps into this trick for what it is basically 100% protection. And so a vital mechanic for improving your close quarters combat is movement, movement. Everybody say movement. Like movement is so important. Being able to keep momentum while moving and just seamlessly control your character in Fortnite is one of the most unvaulted mechanics in the game and is again, another super important mechanic for those close range encounters and gunfights. And so when fighting an enemy at close range, you should definitely make use of all the controls you have. And this means jumping up and down and moving left to right to dodge enemy bullets and also just sprinting to the right and you know ahead of your opponents when fighting close range so that you can just throw off your enemy's aim because if you get to the close to the right hand side of them it's a lot harder for them to see your hitbox because of how camera dynamics work in game and so also being able to move from left to right freely when building editing and you know and peace controlling is just essential for close range fights and this is achieved by having good key binds where you don't have to take your fingers off of w asd for example all right having your edit key on shift instead of something like g is a very good key bind because you know it just means that you're able to edit while simultaneously simultaneously being able to move in any direction you like. Okay, and if you're still confused and you wanna know how you can improve your in-game keybinds, okay, we got a video here, and I mean like right here, that can help you improve your keybind efficiency and become a master at keeping momentum in the close quarters gunfights. All right, so here's a quick recap over the tricks which can turn you into a close range combat legend. All right, so make sure you stay frequently practicing your close range aim using realistic aim chain maps like Raiders 464's aim dual map and try to use your in-game intuition and just really look out for your enemy's blueprints pulling out so that you can just predict edits and pre-fire your way to victory and so with the release of the new box fight arena practice as much as you can and refine your skills all right so start utilizing the ramp building mechanics and using them to cover back for tarping you know begin going directly opposite to your opponent's location when reboxing and remember the golden rule never go to the side and finally guys improving your movement mechanics and key binds so that you can become the speediest close range fighter that you know about so close range combat has become one of the most important parts of Fortnite this season. I mean, we've got all the close range primal weapons in the main game and you know, now even a close range box fighting version of Arena. I mean, mastering everything that we talked about today, I mean, it's gonna take time, but if you guys stick with it you never give up, you keep persevering and you keep managing and qualifying, you keep just grinding, you're gonna take your way to the top, I promise you that. Hey, if you guys liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and listen, if you want even more motivation, I'm right here. I'm ready for you to connect with me. All on my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'm so proud of you guys. I'll see you soon. Peace.